Hello, welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Today I intend to progress. Last couple of episodes I was uh, re-exploring places in new contexts and got stuck on fighting some quite tough bosses, or mini bosses, or optional bosses, or whatever the terminology is. Today I will go to new areas and uh, I'll also get new things. Let's talk to the sculptor and see if I can afford any prosthetic upgrades or installations. Ah yes, I do have a new tool. This was uh, Gilbu's broken horn that I picked up in the reservoir. Far-reaching thrust attacks. Lighter enemies dragged toward the wielder. That's right, armor stripping. Hmm. Alright, poorly fitting armor from heavier foes. I remember this capability. How about upgrades? Unavail right, I can't afford any. I need gunpowder and metals and stuff. Oh, actually I can afford the spinning shuriken. Which I don't particularly care about. Huge damage to jumping enemies. That seems cool. And it it is a tree, I need it in order to get better things. Spring loaded axe. Yeah, alright, let's do it. Empowered with rotational energy. <laughs> I love it, you're not like enchanting the item or anything. You're using physics. How have you been anyway? Goodbye. Alright, let's equip prosthetics. I, I don't want flame vent right now, I'm over it. Let's try out the spinning shuriken. And the new loaded spear, the newish spring load firecracker. You see, I should have read these tips on how to actually use it earlier. I was quite confused by the spring load firecracker at first. But that explains it all. Sp shuriken throw. Spinning shuriken throw. Hits the enemy multiple times. I see. Yes, so now I actually understand how to use these empowered versions by holding down a button. Alright. Uh, new areas. The primary one is Ashina Castle. Or I could also go and fight Druza the Drunkard in the past. I'm tempted to do that, but I would really like to see the castle. Uh, and there's also this mysterious cave which I haven't been able to figure out how to enter. Was it, uh, or was it that it opens from the other side? I remember you... Let's see, yeah, that's right. It's got like a picture of a guy on it, so you hug the wall and, uh, and nothing happens. But perhaps something could happen in the future. Alright, let's head to Ashina Castle. This is, after all, where Kuro is being held. My duty as a shinobi. So, from this bridge into the castle, there are a couple of exploration possibilities. I've already taken one route out into the reservoir. I won't be going there again yet. I could also head down off this bridge into the valley where there are things. Or did I already do that? I think perhaps I did. Yes, I grappled down there and I decided actually there's not necessarily a lot to see here. Did I perhaps miss something when I was down here before? Oh, hello. That's new. Alright, there is a power path. Also, last time I was here I was under the misapprehension that uh, you can't store extra spirit emeralds. You can, so now I want that one. I don't know how to get it though. In fact, I don't know how to get back up. Hmm. Well, the idol is an option. So is this interestingly green passage. Hmm. You know what? And that wasn't interesting after all. Is this it? Is this the end of the passage? Am I missing something? Hmm. 
I can't see any way to jump up with wall climbing. It's not like this game has secret doors from hitting the walls, that's a Dark Souls thing. And thank goodness it doesn't because, uh... Was this here before? Is it rain? Oh, it's snow, okay. <laughs> it just looks slightly strange with the water filter over it. Well, that wasn't very interesting. It's fine though. I thought I'd just forget about it. Spirit Temple was secured. And at last, we're taking the main gate into the castle. Ooh, immediately I see opposition. In fact, up there, is that a general? Someone tough looking. I mean, they're expecting an attack on this place, and, and I've been making an attack. Let's have a look at this remnant of history. Emma and Kuru? So, what? A whistle. So Kuro was was leaving these images on purpose. For Wolf, he was aware that it was something to do with their link, the Divine Heir's blood or whatever. So these are messages. That's cool. Hmm. That looks like a dangerous place to go. You can climb the walls to avoid it. You can climb these other walls to avoid it also. You can head out of this courtyard. I do not think a shinobi would go head on. Though I, c I am tempted to just head up there and just see what happens. Hmm, this castle is actually quite uh, layouted. Insofar as that's a word, We've got many directions to go all of a sudden. Treasure down there. Doors up here. Opening paths with very little effort. Hmm, there's some kind of gate down there. I haven't been very successful with swimming yet, but that doesn't mean I never will be. Huh. Well, I still haven't been very successful with swimming. Is this the other side of that non-entry passage that I saw before? I guess it's sufficiently sealed to not be a way into the castle, which is probably good for the most part. Good for the people defending the castle. Bad for me since I'm attacking the castle. Although, uh, I'm still not 100% certain that attacking per se is the right thing to be doing, but when I turn up they fight me. So it becomes an, effect, an attack by default. So what about down here? You can physics a lot of objects in this game. And then a lot of them you can't. It can be difficult to predict which is which. Pellets. I did see that icon if you're wondering. Hmm. A lot of random non-breakable objects all of a sudden. A low bar. <laughs> oh! Is this the door back out of Ashina Reservoir? Yes, it is. Cool, that's a shortcut potentially. Yeah, at least a, an alternate path to and from the reservoir. Oh. To. Oh, yep, yeah, and, and from. You can hook up here. Cool. Some of these areas don't have a lot in them, but it's still cool that they exist. 
Let's continue avoiding. Well, I'm curious. Let's let's sneak up this way and see what happens. So the war is an active thing. For Ashina. I, I do feel like it's not ideal that I'm fighting these guys. Uh, it's funny, like, um, they're just, most of them are just kind of people defending their homeland, right? Against an invasion. And the reason that Kuro is being used is because his power can help defend it. He, Kuro has points, good points, about how this might not be a, uh, a good thing to do. For supernatural reasons. However, oh, someone wants to claim. Whoa! 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 Oh, I didn't expect this. Where'd he go now? Someone's fighting me from somewhere. Oh, there's crap. Nice shuriken throwing, I guess. But, ah. Aye, aye, aye. So what I tried to do there was use a loot of shuriken on him in the air, but I kind of didn't succeed. I think there's another guy fighting me from somewhere else. This guy looks like um. I've seen this kind of enemy in a cutscene. Genichiro had one of them serving him, I think. When we faced off initially. So the rooftops are not entirely safe. Hmm. At least I'm finally definitively in the castle proper. Like, this is an extremely castle-like structure. How many of these buildings can I get inside? Oh, hey, it's a rat. I know what I'm meant to do with those. The Tengu would have wanted it this way. Some guys. Hello. skill that gives you vitality back on death blows. I'm trying to figure out where I am. <laughs> the castle layout is immediately confusing. Am I right at the gate still? Like this where the... yeah, there, there's the old woman. Okay. I actually moved, really. Oh, that's cool. I'm tempted to just sit down at the idol again and heal, but... I Used so many gourds fighting that uh, dancing shuriken throwing bird mask guy. I don't know. Maybe I don't need to. Hmm. A lot of these doors are blocked up with sandbags. I guess they're creating defensive fortifications for the coming battle. Who is the interior ministry that's, that's invading? Some kind of shogunate related thing? I don't know. Yeah, Wolf here, or Sekiro, is just kind of a, a huge, irritating, random factor in the whole uh, war equation. It must, like, it must be such a pain to the Ashina forces that he's on his personal quest. I see you. And you don't see me right now, although you will soon. That's not so useful when he's not in the air. But I keep trying it because I want it to work. Jumanji. Now. 
While that was successful, I'm now totally out of gourds. So I think I will go and rest and then resume exploration. Treasure though. I do want the treasure. Can I have it safely? Maybe. Hmm, not that easy. Whoa! Hello? No, no samurai at all. You know what a real sh a shinobi would not say, I am a shinobi. I feel like this guy is probably the enemy of my enemy. Take care of the samurai around here for information. Hmm, maybe. Are these are the samurai around here? Maybe. Well, I'm not in a good shape to do this right now anyway. Even if I did want to. Let's return to the idol. Eventually. Ow. You can take falling damage. This is an interesting area. Very dense and vertical. Confusing but featureful. I don't want to encounter these rooftop guys again. Where are they? If I could get the jump on them, that would be great. Someone's... Oh, there's one. Okay, I know where he is now. And he's uh, about to know where I am. Hmm. Avoiding that guy is going to be easier said than done. Avoiding the notice of that guy. Well, if I stay on the ground, I'd probably be fine. It's kind of the alternatives. Whoa! Now, what I don't want to be doing is fighting both some ground-based guys and the jumping guy at the same time. That's currently what was happening. Whoa! Uh. Let's reevaluate my position. I mean, my physical position within the world. As well as evaluating it, let's actually alter it. Okay. Now most of them won't be able to get to me. I saw one of them try. Oh. What the? Oh, he's deflected. You can really bully dogs in this game. Not that that's necessarily a good thing. Like, they're, they're all good boys, but... Well, you know what? Using dogs for war, I don't approve of it. I guess it's a, a perversion of the loyal working animal. For a dark purpose. It's kind of bullshit. I don't agree. Where does this go? Oh, we can actually walk up here. Cool, I guess. Wow, look at that shot of the mechanical hand. I wonder if Wolf gets phantom pains or real pains if it's hit. I don't know. Oh! Um, see, I was thinking this guy wouldn't see me, and I was right, but someone else saw me. I do a lot so much better when I don't try and talk during combat. <laughs> it's sad because like the reason I'm recording these videos is so that I can show people the game and describe it and talk about my feelings and so on. But uh, 
it's not, not just that it's hard, many things are difficult. The way in which Sekiro is hard is that it demands focus of you. Uh, you have to watch things and react accordingly. It's not exactly reflex based. A pure reflex test I would do poorly at. But it is focus based. Hmm. Now somewhere around here there's a second birdman. There he is. I see him up on that roof. Is there any way I can possibly get the drop on him? Someone wants to kill me. Maybe it's a... Okay, I guess it was a third bird, man. In fact, that's not a bird man at all, it's like a, a crinolation. I mistook a crinolation for a man. Uh, anyway. So let's get rid of these guys that the other guy wanted me to get rid of. Because I'm helpful. That must have been surprising. surprised myself. I think this was the right area. And my smoking interlocutor will be over here. Hello. Nightjar Beacon Memo. Ashina Shinobi the Green Nightjars. Oh, the Grey Nightjars are the guys who've been jumping on me. Pale pink smoke signals. Signals guide them. Hmm. Interesting. So I should watch out for those smoke signals and do something about them. I'm not sure what. Follow them myself. Stay away from them. Well, step one is to just notice them. I've seen some smoke signals. I didn't realize their significance. Hello, there's something down there. Ceramic shard. Uh, this is definitely a smoke signal. What it means that there is a smoke signal, I'm not here. I'm not sure, but I could, I could follow these things, and maybe I'll find something if I do. Now, first, I want that treasure. I came close to getting it once before. I'm having a good time. I like this area. It's easy to fall down, but the consequences are very low. That's how you do it. Hmm. Ah, not quite. Hmm. Hmm, where I'm running. Yeah, running jump takes you much further. Also, I'm now here and could theoretically gate behind the samurai. Oh boy. So that's a samurai gen Fuck. General Kuranosuke Matsumoto and his friends. I'm now learning about vitality and posture, for some reason. Am I still actually, like, early in the game? <laughs> it seems pretty huge. Uh, I opt out, though. I'm not going to fight this guy at the same time as a bunch of gunmen. Probably will fight him someday. You can stare at me all you want. Oh, it's a nightjar. 
Yeah, I'm leaving. General Matsumoto can wait his turn. This is a good view. Very nice. So down there you've got the, the gate fortress. Over there you have the outskirts, beyond which lie the dilapidated temple. What of the other directions? What else is in the land of Ashina? Some kind of tall mountain over there, like very tall. I saw um, descriptions of a fountainhead. Hey, someone's flying a kite. Hmm, that should be interesting to go and see. But right now I want to sneak up on this night jar. They call themselves shinobi. Watching from the rooftops is a pretty good tactic, but... You gotta look around you. I get over here? Would I want to? Probably not. That's the gate. No, actually, it's still part of the castle. Man. Distances. Get up there. Oh. Ah. Those bastards. Clearly a way onto the upper parts of the castle. But is it from here or not? Is the question. Hmm. If I get onto the roof of this building, I'd be in a better position, both a better position to fight these nightjar shinobi, and um, a position to grapple up there. Come down and fight me. There's no. Oh. I didn't think he'd actually take my advice. Where's he gone? The cool thing about someone losing track of you is it lets you know where they are by magic. Hmm. So now, I'm aware that this man is hunting me. And has become hunted. And things are really opened up. I'm pleased. Hmm. And how to climb higher. I was in a position to do so, I think. Oh, we're heading towards being in a position in such a position. I think I could have jumped and made a grapple. So I'll try that. Oh! Also, I didn't see this. <laughs> There's a grapple point. That changes things. Now, this night jar is very inconveniently, inconveniently positioned. What if I use some gachin sugar? Wow, I'm like ghostly. That's it, if I grapple, he'll surely notice me. Yeah. The Ashina Ichimonji. Enjoy your irony. Hmm. So this is where I want it to be, but I want to go back and get that treasure. Well, it's actually quite a good reward. Much better than ceramic shard, anyway. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you got me there. 
Holy shit. <laughs> I heard it coming. I heard the noise and I could have done something about it and I didn't. <laughs> I will know better next time. More treasures, probably more ninjas. Yeah, in fact, there's one. Who's flying this? Nobody's flying the kite. Dang. Okay. This is really good, this area. You know what it reminds me of? An Orlando. Ah. Cripes, there's a whole bunch of them. Ah. This is well over the number I wanted to fight, ideally. I'm gonna die here. See, I called it. Hmm, that was cool. Not ultimately successful, except that I explored a lot, got a bunch of treasures, did some guy's minor quest to, to learn about Nightjar noobs, and then I died. But uh, I'll return here and do more things in the future. I do have some skill points, so am I going to save towards the Breath of Life light? Very tempting, very appealing. Or am I going to buy the Shinobi Eyes? I want this. I uh, don't really want that, but it'll lead towards that. And I want this also, but uh, I want that more. <laughs> yeah, I'm saving up for Breath of Life. Okay. Thanks for watching. This is Ashina Cut. Apart from opening doors and things, I have technically not um, made progress per se. But it's cool. This is how you learn.